ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everybody. So Good glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds of lightweight action between Jesse James Leha and Finney Paz. Leha's on his way to take this tough challenge inside the ropes, but not much focus and passion in these final moments leading the way here. has had this experience so many times and success has always come on the back end of these ring walks. It's his focus at this moment that delivers it. Introducing first in the middle corner with a record of 47 wins, 19 by way of knockout, and seven losses. Heading out of San Antonio, the Texas Tornado, Jesse James Leha. His adversary, with a record of 50 victories and 30 knockouts, with 10 losses, coming out of Cranston, at all times. Let's touch him up. Ten rounds slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. Went headhunting, but was slightly off the mark. Leha's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Able to dismiss that body shot. Teddy, it really doesn't matter how big this ring is. These guys are fighting within four square feet. Well, if they were smart, if they knew this was coming, they would have did their training in a phone booth because that's what they're in. Both landing body shots. Paz's edge is speed. He can get in and out. He can get you offensively. He can get away from you defensively. Yeah, he has radial tires, and you got to take some air out of those tires. No better place or way to do that than go downstairs. Full uppercut by Vinny Paz. Halfway through this round here. Don't let him get me. Chop a little wood with that hook. Vinny Paz is showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Now there's the jab. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Not able to land the headshot. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy. Each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Come who on, changed the camera? Jesse Leha's clearly affected by that. Keep moving. Get out there. End of round one. His eye is completely shut. He really is at risk of being a TKO loser here. I suppose if he can defend himself properly, the fight will go on. Yeah, well, that's going to be up to the discretion, the judgment of the referee. I mean, this is what the referee is paid for, his judgment in this kind of situation.
to be honest with you. Based on what we saw in that last round, I didn't think we'd be broadcasting this round. I thought the fight would be over. It may be soon if his opponent can jump on him. But this could be his only chance. I don't think he can last much longer. Maybe this is the moment where you expect your opponent to come after you fast. Maybe ring. you grit Use yourself, you plant your feet, you draw a line in the sand, so to speak, and you nail him coming in. Has his punch didn't come close. Jesse Leha's rocked, and his defense is porous right now. He could go down at any moment. Well, the problem is he's got the habit of blocking punches. When a guy's putting them together, you can't block them all. Some are getting through. And now he's targeting upstairs. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Vinny Paz. Leha's showing us that his legs may not be completely underneath him the way he wants them to be after being stunned earlier. He's really hanging on in there. He's tying up a lot. Yeah, but he's being allowed to. I have to say that right now as a trainer, that he's allowed to do that. His opponent should not cooperate with him. He should take a little step back and make sure he takes advantage. Don't let him tie up. <laughs> Teddy, he's been staggered and stunned, and now these flailing arm shots. Yeah, he's going to leave himself more wide open. Right now, he'd be better off not throwing, just defending. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. <laughs> off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see, a good combination punch by Vinny Paz. And the round comes to an end. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Leha's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady, the same attitude, as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. He's losing this fight. He can take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, right? And round number three is underway. Boy, he is shaky right there. He is on shaky ground in the ring right now. Blocking that punch. Very good defense by Leha. Uh. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Oh, look at that. He's hurt. But hey, I give him credit. He's smart enough to know what to do now. Yeah, the referee needs a crowbar to separate him. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Jesse Leha's corner is concerned. Their fighter may go down here. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Able to cover up along the belt line. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand that he had no clue on. Hooks on the inside. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Leha's corner looks like they're creeping up those steps. I think they may want this fight to be over soon. I think they need to be responsible and understand that just like sometimes the tide goes out, and guess what? It's not coming back in until tomorrow. Well, this is enough for today. This fight is over. We're going to have to have another day when we come back prepared to do it again. It's tough to assess, but... Paz's cut may look worse than it actually is. I mean, all the blood is spraying everywhere. Yeah, and I think that's exactly right. And you just wonder, and I know this is... And all of a sudden, the tables turn. Jesse Leha's rocked. What's good for you is good for him. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Last 10 seconds of round number three. You good? You all right? Breathe for me. Good. Now listen, you threw a wide punch out there and he caught you. Tighten up your...
All right, listen. You need to create more counters, okay? Slip this bunch, then throw a straight right down the middle. Well, I think this is a fairly even fight, Teddy. As we look at your scorecard, that's the way you have it as we begin round number four. Well, it's been a battle of jabs, to be honest Come with you, on, Joe. And until one guy shows that his jab is bilingual, it's going to stay close. And what I mean by that, if one guy shows that his jab can do more than speak just English, maybe a little Spanish, you know, maybe a little bit of this language where he hooks off and he does more things, that guy is going to separate himself. Leha's trainer is telling him, hey, just stick with what you've been doing. Yeah, but what he was doing caused him to get rocked earlier. Yeah, sometimes you have to make it an adjustment. Now, they don't feel it's time yet, but that time's coming. It's coming quick. Well-targeted right hand by Leha. He's got a cut, and we can see that he's bleeding from his mouth, and that can be a real problem. People don't realize it, but that can be a big, big problem. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Inside, inside. The ref is stopping the fight. The swelling just much too much. That's it. TKO, technical knockout.